In this video, I'm going to be walking you through why I do what I do in a live online game of Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you so much for taking the time to watch this YouTube video. Now, if you're new to the channel and you have not already hit the subscribe button, I want to encourage you to do so. I want to encourage you to subscribe to the channel. We upload videos every single day that are designed to be help you become a better Madden player. We study pro players. We break down our own tips. We, we break down game plays. We teach you how to do things um, in Madden Ultimate Team as well. So if you have not already subscribed to the channel, I want to encourage you to go ahead and subscribe. It's completely free to subscribe, and it just allows you to know whenever we release a new video. All right, guys, so I'm running my zone scheme here. This is out of the 335 normal, 335 wide. I've been running this defense pretty much since June, and the defense has actually taken an interesting turn. I've been running a lot more zone um, in the last couple of matchups uh, than I had in the past, and it's been working really, really well, actually. Um, it's, just, it's just been uh, honestly a hit. The, the zone defense has been playing very strong, and uh, been working a lot out of cover four. I'm doing some different things uh, with my corners and safeties. I put zone abilities on all of my players um, so that they play the zone better. I actually would rather, um, personally would rather play zone than man coverage uh, just because I think zone coverage allows you to play a little bit more chess with your opponent. It allows you to just kind of, you know, basically do some window dressing, show things that are covered and then take them away uh, and that kind of thing. And that's kind of the style of defense that I have always liked to play. And uh, I'm actually really, really excited about where my defense is heading uh, with some of these latest adjustments and things like that that we've been kind of figuring out here. So, um, all that to say, if you want to get my defensive ebook, it's in the description. Okay, the full defense is in the description uh, for this for the nickel three through five wide version of it. Uh, if you want to get my full offense, when we get on offense, that's in the description as well. But um, you know, basically, what we're doing is we're right, working out of three three five wide. Um, we do a little bit of three three five normal and a little bit of nickel normal sprinkled into that. But the core defense is really designed um, to really be effective out of this three three five uh, wide defense right here. We've got a couple of other things that we're going to be doing. Um, depending on his uh, his routes and his adjustments, have a couple key alignments there. And there you see Sean Taylor doing what he does. Now, um, I actually went with all zone archetype corners and safeties. So this is, with the zone archetype on your safeties, it allows them to get um, some of these abilities for a little bit less AP. So that allows us to put a little bit more of the zone coverage uh, abilities on our guys. There you see there's Derwin James with a nice user lurk up the bat there. And we are going to get a pick six. No better way to start on the defensive side of the ball than a pick six. Defense is truly my favorite place uh, to play. A lot of you guys are have known me for my offense and my ability to really uh, run a very phenomenal offensive spread system or West Coast or bunch uh, tight end. But really where I truly want to hang my hat is on the defensive side of the ball, making adjustments, um, locking people down. That's really what we want to do and want to be known for. So uh, we're going to be working really, really hard to continue to consistently improve on that side of the ball over the course of the next couple months as we are heading into kind of a new season of Madden 21. So really, really excited uh, to see uh, how that goes for us as well. But there we go. Nice little user alert right off the bat here. You know, anything. And you notice that these... Um, you notice that like my corners, one of the things that we like to do here, and we're actually going to make that adjustment right here, um, is I'm trying two different types of coverages uh, defensively here. And right here, this is a little bit of a Mabel coverage, uh, kind of a cover, almost like a cover three cloud type of coverage here. Um, and there we go, good defense, and we're able to get the stop. Now, I don't have any defensive line chemistries on my uh, players. I just straight up have zone drops um, and zone abilities on the defense. So, overall, defense is playing really, really, really good, and uh, we're, we're looking good to start the game. Now, I'm actually kind of um, testing out a couple new ways to play uh, zone defense. So, some people say that you should run, you know, you know, you can even see it if you look at the two different types of defenses, even in the big nickel uh, over G. Some people like to run cover, cover two to the wide side of the field, right? That might be a cover three cloud type of thing or a cover, um, I, th I believe a cover six type of defense. The cover nine likes to run that to the short side of the field or to the weaker, strong side of the formation. And so I'm kind of tinkering around a little bit with that, uh, kind of rolling 
the cover four into the cover three, um, or I'm sorry, not cover three, cover two. And I have a corner on the outside um, here, Troy Vincent. He has two abilities on him. He has deep out zone KO, right, um, which is going to allow him to break on the ball really, really well. But he also has another ability that I really, really like, which is mid zone KO. And what mid zone KO does is it allows them to break really, really well on medium breaking patterns um, and things like that. So anyway, uh, we might go to some cover two uh, as the game kind of, if he keeps throwing out routes and things like that, we'll probably go into some of that cover two style um, on one side of the field and then cover four on another side of the field uh, to create that cover six uh, type of look. Actually right here, you know what, we're going to run that. And and good read good read by him i was waiting for the running back to come in behind him and he stuck on that slant or stuck on the drag route so good job by him and that tells me i got to be a little bit more aggressive uh with my user and here uh good inside zone call good inside zone call he'd gone away from inside zone um that was actually a perfect perfect call by him and he ends up getting a really good good gain out of it So he's coming out in shotgun doubles flex. And we're going to run a little Mabel coverage here. And we're going to get him again. Derwin James right over the middle. I think that was a little shallow cross concept there. Um, and Derwin, I gosh, that's terrible stick. I, I don't know if you guys have ever experienced that where the computer kind of takes over of the mechanics of the route. Um, or, or not route, but the, the running mechanics of your player. That's what happened to me right there. And I did not do a good job of, like, staying patient. I was trying to get out in front and go. Um, but good defense. So defense is about a, about as perfect of a start as you can get, right? If we got a pick six on that, that would have been even better. But defense is playing lights out right now. So offensively, um, I'm, I'm running PA boot over. I'm running bunch tight end. Now, PA boot over is not the only play I'm going to run. You'll find that I have a lot of plays that I like out of this offense. Um, I also have the playmaker ability on Terry McLaurin. I think it's Dex to Gunslinger probably the most important ability in the entire game. It allows you to have a lot of success um, against man-to-man -man coverage. It allows you just to basically do a lot of really, really nice things. Uh, right there, that was awesome. I mean, he he just user rushed the crap out of me. Um, now, a little bit of game management here for just a second. It's really, really important for me to get points here. It's not necessarily critical that I get a touchdown. Okay, um, So a little bit of game management here. Because we get ball at halftime and how well the defense is playing, I don't have to be super, super pressing to get a touchdown on this drive. So what we're going to do right here, this is second and 17. We just took a sack. Um, if we take another sack, we're probably going to run the ball on, on that and just take the field goal. So right here, you know, kind of an important little, little deal here. Now, because of what he's doing with his user, I was able to get out of there and I almost threw an interception. That was on me 100%. Now, right here, uh, again, ball on the 35. So 35 should be a fairly comfortable field goal. And so what we're going to do is we're just going to audible down. Now, he, I think he's in some type of dollar, um, you know, so we might break a run. You know, we might. We'll see. And he gets a – and th those are some of the weirdest tackling animations I've ever seen. It doesn't look like he's anywhere near me, and then it kind of suctions him toward me. So that's fine. Um, my special teams game is not the best, so hopefully we can make this kick. I think we got it. We'll see here. And it hit the uprights and goes in. See, and I, I'm, I'm still struggling a lot with my special teams. So I don't know if some of you guys can maybe give me some tips. Because um, I've seen pro players, man, they hit these things from 42 yards. So um, for me, 35 is like pushing it. So anyway. Back on to the defensive side of the ball. And looks like he's going to go down to iPhone Pro. Now, in my opinion, you are probably going to see a run here. Nope, little play action, little corner route. And I felt like we could have played that a little bit better defensively, but that was not too bad. Um, the beauty of this defense is this defense does basically concede, you know, that if you throw in the flats, essentially you're going to have an opportunity there uh, to do that. But what I like about this defense is that's, you know, 
you know, again, and and I really wanted to intercept that. I, I I don't like that that route gets open against those two abilities. Both of those abilities should have activated, and uh, and should have taken that away. All right, right here we're gonna run a little Mabel coverage, and with our user, we're able to glitch him and get in the backfield and stop it. And nickel three three five, in my opinion, puts your it just puts your defense in a solid solid uh, position. You have the best defensive players on the field. Uh, right here, we're gonna go to a little bit of a double uh, Mabel coverage. We're basically all in the middle of the field here, and there's the deep inside zone KO playing off for me. I shouldn't have done that little move with Sam with Samuel. But very, very good defense. The, the vertical streaks, the, the post, all of that stuff should not be a problem uh, with this defense. Really, the problem routes are honestly um, like, you know, different types of like, not corner routes necessarily, but like out routes, curl routes, um, you know, some of that stuff. So, anyways, Randall Cunningham is going to step up in the pocket here. And I'm telling you what, until you get on the field with 96 speed, you just don't realize how powerful it really is. Um, if you have good pocket presence, just step up in the pocket, man. I mean, just if, if, if the pocket's breaking down, just step up in the pocket here. And now, see, he, he, can't, he can't touch me. Now, again, he did right there, but not because of his user rush, right? He's, he's been going to this user rush. All right, this is one of my favorite plays uh, in the last couple of days that I've been running. Um, this little concept right here is really, really powerful. And we're just going to take our check down. That's fine. Let's get, us our, get ourselves a couple of yards here. And um, his, his user is really, really aggressive. So we're going to try to catch him here on McLaurin. And we might have Tyree Killen behind him. And he gets an instant shed. That's fine. He gets an instant shed. So good job by him. Good defense. And we're going to have to punt. But we're still fine. I mean, our defense is playing really, really good. So as long as we don't give up, we just want to make sure to try to get this punt as close to out of bounds as we can. I think that's about as good as you can right there. Going to pin him inside the five-yard line. And now... Uh, defense can go to work a little bit. Um, another, you know, I could uh, I could play the flats a little bit more aggressively as well because of the types of routes that he's been running uh, so far this game. So we're going to send some pressure here at him. He is under center, so we're going to try to kind of come right through the A-gap too with Derwin. And we almost got him. Man, we almost had a safety. And see, now that right there, that one little movement that we just did, and now we're going to do a little chess here. So he hasn't been running a lot of crossing routes. So we're going to go to this combination right here, and we're going to basically play Mabel coverage on him. He hasn't ran a ton of corner routes or crossing routes, and with what we just did to him, um, I think he's going to be a little bit worried uh, to, to, to try to get it out quick. And that was our user. That was where we were supposed to be. We got hung up just a smidge. And we're going to keep that zone drop uh, set up right here. And get the setup in. Now, if he runs that little little, little route, we're on that. And he throws a curl. Good read, good read. All right, now we need to, yeah, I was going to say, if he didn't call a timeout, we were going to because we needed to get out of that defense. That was kind of a situational D. Uh, we're going to get back into our standard, uh, our standard depth here. And we're going to sit in cover four. And now we're going to do it from this defense right here just because it's a little bit better coverage. Um, you used to get an extra deep blue when you do it like this. And he's going to – let's see if we can go get a field goal here. Let's see if we can go get a field goal here. A field goal would be big. All right, so we have two timeouts. Um, we're just going to try to hit this field goal. And we messed up here. We did get an accurate kick. Hopefully that gets in. Yep, it did. Okay, so that's a decent half. That's a decent half. On, it's about it's about perfect on the defensive side of the ball. Um, we played about a perfect half. Now, you got to be ready for onside kicks. Um, one of my rules of thumb is I never, ever, you almost, I seriously believe that you should put the controller down whenever you're on defense and on offense, gather yourself, take a second, let this clock go so you never get caught off guard with what they're doing. 
I cannot tell you how many times someone has come out and onside kick or fake field goal block or some crazy stuff that has caused me like cost me possessions. It's cost me weekend league games. It's cost me money games. I mean, it's it's done so. Um, it's it's consistently come back to bite me. So I've definitely learned the hard way to not do that. Now uh, we just we obviously we want to get seven. Uh, if we get three, it's not the end of the world. Um, it would not be a great thing, but if we get three, you know, it's not that bad. Of, it's not. It's really not that bad. So uh, we're gonna go to this little setup right here, a little motion out curl, and we're gonna step up, step up, step up. We're just gonna take off. And Cunningham, that 96 speed. I, I meant to slide there. Uh, I got to be careful with that right there. All right, we're gonna go to inside switch. Kind of a simple setup here, really. Uh, but really just trying to attack both both of the quick flats. This route right here is super underrated. Um, I need to run that more, and everybody does, from bunch tight end. It is a really, really good route uh, to be able to use. And no spy, so we're just going to take our yards. And now we're in a good position. Now, uh, what I probably should, I don't like to huddle up. I like to go no huddle every play, and I know it does cost me some, you know, some opportunities as far as, um, you know, stamina and stuff like that. But, you know, right here, if if I if I were to huddle up, I would probably put it on conservative. I can almost guarantee you, I I would put it on conservative. I think he's running. Uh, is he running? He is. He is running dollar here. And absolute laser from Randall Cunningham back of the end zone. Bunch tight end explodes here in the second half, and we get ourselves a touchdown. Now, the game wants us to go for two, uh, so what I'm going to do is come out in my two-point conversion uh, set here, which is this strong tight, and I like to use this fullback angle play right here in two-point conversion situations, and the reason, why, especially if I can, if I can, um, and I'm not going to, I don't think I'm going to have enough time, but we're going to motion him anyway. And we're gonna throw a pick. Gosh dang it! Yeah, we would have had we would have had him wide open too. Um, what I like to do is I like to run the angle route on one side, and I like to have a quick slant on the other side. And then if they run commit, obviously I have the tight end out route. So um, that's what I was trying to do there, but I just didn't get my play set up fast enough. So, anyways, good job by him. Uh, I got to get back on defense here and continue pitching the shutout. I mean, the defense is looking good. It's the best defense in the entire game, in my opinion. Again, if you want to pick it up, it's in the description. I also have a free sample of the defense. Um, you can just shoot me a text message to get that video. Um, so, anyway, single back wing slot. So, it looks like he's going to come out and probably try to run. Yep, there we go. Good D. And I'll tell you what, I, I it took me a few games to get used to this Derwin James, but he's playing pretty good for me right now. Single back wing slot. I shouldn't have made that adjustment. Oh, man, that should have been a pick. I overran it a little bit. Dang it. All right, right here, we're going to send the dogs at him if he throws. All right, good run, good run. Right there goes the little stretch. And we talk about how to stop these runs in the ebook. Uh, some runs are easier to shoot than other runs. Another thing you want to do if you can um, is bring these guys down. And that out route should not be getting that open. <sighs> that out route should not be getting that open at all. But if you bring these deep blue zones really down in the box, they not only do they play the run a thousand times better, but I I believe they play like they play post routes like, and I'm talking about the uh, uh, the post routes from like New England. Uh, trying to think what they're called uh pat's pat's uh the the play from gun bunch called pat's sale if you bring these safeties down like i'm doing that post route is obsolete 
if you do that adjustment right here. Just bring them down like this with the deep in uh, zone knockout ability on them. They will break on that ball like crazy. I mean, they will they will literally. Um, I mean that that play is almost obsolete if you do that if you do that one adjustment right here. So literally down down and then that's it and then you know you can you're free to make your other adjustments. Watch right there. See how they break on it. And I don't know where. Uh, I don't know where my other guy went. I think I don't know what happened on that because my other guy wasn't in the in the spot that I put him. And that's why you always want to make sure um, you're always pass committing. There, that should be stopped now. And you see, see how see how they hang on that much better. Um, that's that's the deep in knockout. Now the one issue of it is that you know the the route breaks at a point that's not inside the numbers per se. So I found a little bit of issue with that as well. So that's just something to know. And we almost got the out route that time. Let me check and see. I don't know if I have. Let me check and see what my ball in air defense is. Yep, that's probably the issue. It's on play receiver, not on play ball. So that's probably why he's been able to hit that route. Just going to bring these guys down right over the tight ends. And good, good run, good run. So he's actually doing a. He's putting a good drive together. But if you notice, we're taking. He's taking a ton of time to do it. So we're okay with that. Uh, he kind of caught us in a bad D right there. Was able to scamper out for about nine. And let's see here. Second and one. Get these guys here. And if I would if I would have had my user on a blitz. Oh, man. Okay. So good job by me just kind of hanging there. Um, that was kind of just a no huddle trying to get something quick. Uh, but we're going to go down into this zone drop setup right here. I put these on 10, 5, and 5 when I'm in the red zone. And really what I want to be able to do is go into the Mike Blitz 3 and basically play Mabel coverage out of that. And he's going to run it. Good D. And that's why I like the Mike Blitz 3 so much, uh, because I do have the deep end zone KO on um, on my guys. I also have the deep, whatever it's called, the um, crap, 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 crap. He's going to get me. Dang, he got it off. And I feel like I should have got a pick on that. I feel like I made the right adjustments, and I didn't get the, get the result I wanted. I think, let me check and see what my curl flats are on that. I think that was, yeah, I'm going to... So I'm going to swap these two uh, for down in the red zone. I think I might start doing that just because of where they're at on the defense. So we're going to go to uh, Mike. Because with Mike Blitz 3 versus cover 4, they play a little bit differently. So had I been in – actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do this. I'm going to run Mabel out of cover 4. Let's do that. So we're going to come out in cover 4 um, out of this. But what we're going to do is we're going to Mabel coverage it. And make a good tackle. Good job. That's pretty good defense right there. Um, yeah, I mean, he, pro he probably should have got in there on that. Honestly, I, I didn't have the run defense set up. But I think what I'm going to start doing down here in the red zone, because they have those deep in uh, zone KOs, and the, I know that those deep in zone KOs will play like super, super glitchy in the red zone. Um, I think what I'll start doing is run more of like a cover for Mabel almost type of defense. But anyway... Um, so yeah, good good stop by me. Um, you know, honestly, if you actually this is crazy. We're about to win a game twenty to nothing, or nineteen to zero, and we only threw seven passes. That's how good the defense has played. So defense truly does win championships, and the defense has played lights out today um, on the sideline. Little low ball. Those corner routes are super effective, and we've only. I mean, I think we threw one ball away maybe or dropped a pass or something, uh, and that's been pretty much it. But we're going to try to hit him here with the crossing route. Um, you know, and basically what I like to do is I don't like to hold right trigger when I scramble anymore. I find it so much easier to throw it um, when you want to throw it if you don't hold right trigger when you're scrambling out of the pocket. 
I don't run escape artists on my bunch tight end. Uh, I know I know some people that do, but for me, it's just not what I want to do. So uh, right here, I'm trying to think of what to do with Vernon Davis on this play. Uh, I think we're just going to do this setup right here. And we're basically trying to get Moss over the top here on this. And just kind of watch in the deep, deep, deep. And we can Playmaker that all the way back across. We can, we should have been able to Playmaker him up, but we weren't able to. But we have all day in the pocket here. All day, all day, all day. He doesn't seem too concerned with stopping us. Um, and we got a really, really bad animation right there. That's about as bad of an animation as you can get. So... That's, that's probably on us. We probably should have just ran it or thrown it away. I think we had a touchdown um, that we could have taken, but we didn't. You know, that's probably some of that's on me. Anyway, here we go. Going to run. And good route. Um, I forgot to reset my zone drops. If he goes no huddle, I'm going to call a timeout. Okay, he called it for me. I forgot to set my zone drops back to what I wanted them normally. I need to set a rule of thumb to do that. Um, on offense as soon as I get the ball. All right, we're going to run Mabel coverage here and just use her the middle. Gosh, dang it. <sighs> All right, we're going to call timeout. Reason being, um, we want to reset those zone drops. I want to try that zone, that red zone defense that I was talking about. So basically what we're going to do is going to put these to 5, 5, and 10. And then we're going to come out and cover four. And all we're going to do is just Mabel. And we'll see if he runs it here. He is going to run it, stretches out. That's on me. That's good. That's a good drive. That's, that's just bad defense by me. So, like, right here, like, in situations like this, this is where I need to reset these. But, anyways, that's – I mean, that's just bad defense. Like – I came out and I didn't have my zone drop set. I thought I did, and uh, he just dotted me over the top of the crosser on that play, which was good. Uh, offensively, you know, we just made a big mistake. Um, you know, when you're obviously you got to close the game out. Now we're not gonna, we're probably not gonna lose this game, but again, you don't want to get into bad habits like that. You obviously want to close the game out and and just finish strong. So anyway, but we got 28 seconds left. I'm gonna try to. Uh, run a couple more routes here, talk through some stuff uh, that I like to do, you know, in these situations. Another um, another play that I really, uh, let me see here, I think it's called can't remember, tight end corner. You could do something like this here. Out of, I mean, there's just so much you can do out of this offense, but this is another combination that you could do that I don't really run nowhere near as much as I should. Um and his purple played that really, really well. I don't know what his zone drops are set on, but they're playing the post routes like crazy, crazy good. But they're not playing the crossing routes really well. So that's where, you know, again, it's that cat and mouse of crossing route, post route. Uh, like, like you could do something like this. This setup right here is freaking insane. Like just putting the tight end on that post route because that's where their user is going to have to go. And then obviously you can, you know, we'll just scram. This is what we should have done um, on that last play. But you see Randall, four carries for 63 yards, just taking what the defense gives me. That's what, you know, again, you should probably scramble. If you have Randall Cunningham, you should probably scramble for, you know, I don't know how many yards. But so here, you see what I'm saying? Like, that's a good dot, but, you know, it's, it's a tighter throw. It takes, it takes the quarterback longer to load it up and throw it, so. Now, if people are running, I'm trying to remember, if people are running cover three or cover four, um, if you streak this outside guy on this curl flat corner, it should open it up more for us, and it does. Touchdown. And there's the bunch tight end showing the power that it has to be able to score pretty much at will um, when you make the correct read. Obviously, if you don't make the correct read, it's not going to work. But when you make the correct read, it will work. So if you want to get the bunch tight end offensive ebook, that link is in the description. If you want to get the 335 defensive ebook, defense played pretty much lights out the majority of the game today. Um, that link is in the description as well. And if you have any Madden questions at all, feel free to shoot me a text message. My number is 812 
216-3644. I want to thank you guys so much for watching today's video. And just wanted to remind you one last time here, if you want to get the offensive ebook, it's in the description. If you want to get the defensive ebook, um, that is in the description as well. Thanks for watching, and we will see you on tonight's stream at 10, 10 p.m. Eastern time. I play with subscribers every night at 10 o'clock, so come by, hang out, and let me know what's up. Thanks for watching. And again, if you want to get those ebooks, they're in the description of this video.